Hey guys and welcome back to another Dot Trace video and today we're going to be playing TT Isle of Man 3 Ride on the Edge and it's time to discuss the latest update on PC. Now I was in the Discord server for the TT3 server and I noticed that the update had come out so I thought why not have a look. So in this particular video today we're going to be using Michael Dunlop, of course the latest Super Sport winner in the TT of 2023. So it seems fitting to use him on board the Yamaha R6. So regarding the actual update for TT3 as we're going to try and squeeze around the outside of Dominic Herbertson. Just trying to find a spot first and then we'll get into the information regarding the update. And I think we might be able to go from up on the inside here. It's been a while since I've played TT3 so a little bit rusty but still <laughs> quite confident here in the St. John's course. And honestly... I think the St. John's course might be my favourite course here in TT3, but I digress for that for now because we need to discuss the update and what has actually been updated. So I don't know whether you can tell already, but so far there's meant to be performance and frame rate improvements, which I don't really know if that's going to be visible from the video. Sometimes I have a slowdown in the video anyway, which happens during the, uh, during the rendering process. And of course, which is probably the most glaring obvious one, is I'm not seeing much popping. There obviously is a bit of pop in here and there, but nothing looks egregious like we have been seeing in the past. So I think, I think the guys have done well here. The Race World Studio developers have managed to tweak the KT engine, and I'm really not seeing as much pop in. It has been a while since I've played TT3, so I'm not fully in tuned with everything in TT3 right now, but it does visibly look like the, the pop in is not as egregious. Seeing the plants rising up to the player there, as you see on the left hand side, but other than that, it's pretty good. One of the downfalls about TT3 I found was uh, the white lines on the track, or at least the road, should I say. Some of them in certain areas don't pop in until quite late, so it, it is a bit jarring. But I can honestly say, I think this looks really good, and I'm not really not noticing as much texture popping as I have been doing in the past. So I'm really. I noticed the. Uh, the guys in the background there, the spectators, they did pop in, but honestly, it's not a big deal anyway. It is a negative regardless of which way you look at it, and of course, even after this update, it's still not perfect. But it's a great step, and the action is where the bike is and where the track is. It's not really that noticeable sometimes. There is a few areas where braking markers don't turn up until too late. But other than that, I'm quite happy with this. I think they've done a great job. So... A big thumbs up for me, a green tick, let's say, for the update. And of course, every single update that comes out, the game just gets better and better. So, thumbs up for me. I'm very happy with what they've done so far. Now, there's been a couple of issues that people have claimed they've had and I haven't really experienced. So, one of those was the audio quality has been improved. I really can't tell the difference. I use pretty good headphones, but they aren't perfect to the point of having the complete audio accuracy. If you're an audiophile maybe you'll be noticing a few issues and I do believe there's some errors with some of the 600cc bikes. I believe it might have been the Kawasaki or the uh, Suzuki possibly. I'm not entirely sure but I know someone was saying that or at least I read in the TT server that there was a sound issue where it just wouldn't sound right or the, it would glitch when you did gears or something so yeah I'm not entirely sure but I never had that issue so I can't really comment on that. Uh, the fix the grass spawning on the racetrack. Now, I've seen funny images and videos of this, but I've never had it ha occur to me. It's not happened on the Dots Race channel, I can assure you. But I have just noticed the, the white lines in the middle of the track there. They are still struggling a bit. They aren't as clear as it was at the beginning of the St. John's course, but now we get approaching 50% of the distance. The white lines are just popping in on the track ever a little bit too late. So it's not perfect, but still an improvement of what it was, and I think as long as we're going in the right direction, that's pretty solid. Now, of course, if you're a avid TT3 fan and you've been playing a lot, I've played around 35 hours myself, but I've not really done too much of the career mode. But if you have been going through that and you've been increasing your player limit and your player cap, should I say, that has now been increased. It's now up to 500 you can go for the level, so knock yourself out. Go crazy with the levels and see if you can get to a maximum of 500. And finally, allegedly, there is a leaderboards display fix. Now, I noticed a few times I've set laps and they've never appeared. And on the flip side, I have a lap on one of the tracks, I don't remember which one it is, 
which I never set. <laughs> I set a lap time that was completely different. It was about 10 seconds quicker. But when I look at the lap times, I don't know where this one came from, but uh, it is on one of them, and I it's completely forgotten which one it is. But, uh, yeah, strange glitch that occurred to me, but apparently now it's all been fixed. So, again, great start. I did have a look at the leaderboards a moment ago, and I couldn't really notice anything glaring, and I've not really spent enough time on TT3 yet to start chucking in some faster lap times at the moment. I've been so inundated with MotoGP 23 that I've just not been back on to TT3, so I've been a bit rusty, and I'm hoping to get back into it. So I hope you guys are enjoying the TT3 content. I've just completely messed it up into the right-hand side there. That is the corner here in St. John's that I always get a bit too confident with. I either break too early and then get annoyed that I've done that, or go too wide like I've just done on screen and make a big hash of that corner. It's a very difficult double apex right-hander, but if you get it right, it's immensely satisfying. It helps out with the speed of this circuit, of course. So, into the final parts of this track. As regarding the updates, that is only for PC, by the way. I don't know if uh, PlayStation or Xbox have received theirs, but I do believe P uh, PS5 and Xbox have al already received their updates, and the, the PC one was delayed due to a small issue. But other than that, I hope everyone's TT3 experience is now at its peak level. I don't think we're at the peak yet. I think they've still got a bit of work to do. Sometimes there is a few faults with the KT engine, but other than that, I think, uh, I think we're getting a good TT3 experience. And in general, I think TT3 is by far the best TT game. If you want to hear my full review, you can check that out in one of the... Uh, one of the links in the video, possibly, or at least on the channel in a playlist. I've completely made a mistake of that left-hand side there. That's uh, trying to do the MotoGP 23 acceleration. Of course, if you're not familiar with MotoGP 23, the bikes now lift up as you accelerate, and that isn't done here in TT. So when I'm trying to do that and fight it, I realise I don't need to fight it, so that's why I went so tight to the apex a moment ago and just completely made a mess of the left-hander going through the... Uh, I was going to say the infield section, but I guess it's just the town section, let's say. So charging down the straight, we will be going on to the left-hand side with the man, of course, dominant in TT. Michael Dunlop, of course, a household name in the TT. And I'm sure he'll be getting the TT blue soon now, like Peter Hickman's doing in British Superbike at the moment. But uh, I'll be honest, I've not really caught up fully on all the TT. I'm looking forward to sitting down and having a chance to really watch it all but uh, yeah I've read a lot about it and it sounds awesome and it sounds like it's been a great experience and of course Pete Hickman doing extremely well as well so I'm a happy happy man but now into the final part of the track another difficult section of uh, corners that approach so quickly it's just not an easy part and I gotta say it does feel good to be back on TT3 let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more TT3 and I'll see what I can do. But across the line, we are going to take victory against the 100% difficulty, which is, of course, the maximum. So, Michael Dunlop takes another stellar victory. But that's the uh, that's the patch notes. I hope that's helped. I hope uh, everyone's game is running solid and smooth. And I guess that's it from me. So thanks for watching, guys. I do hope the video helped, or at least you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Trace video.